Hello? Hi. So, today I will be speaking on behalf of the chosen ones. Let me get into this. So when it comes to our tolerance nowadays, our tolerance for BS is cut to about zero. We just ain't doing it. We don't do those things. Because a lot of BS means a lot of unnecessary things and actions, which is what we don't do. <clears throat> Chosen ones are structured. They're very present in their own life. Very present. Because there's a lot of lost people out there today doing a lot of mindless things which serves them no purpose. If it's not helping you, it is hurting you. It is. Because whatever is not helping you is technically hurting you. Some things more than others, obviously. But just get that. To be a chosen one, you must do things that is in your best interest. <clears throat> I just swallowed a bunch of liquids before I did this video, so I'm <clears throat> I don't want to burp on set, but yeah. Should have gave myself a second. But what you have to do what I'm saying here is you must use your time wisely you must cut out the BS you have to do this because if you don't your life will be consumed with BS with BS people with BS bad habits and the list goes on The more good habits you have, the more good people you have around you, the better your life will be. If you are addicted to bad habits, if you are addicted to bad people, if you are addicted to making bad decisions, you are going to forever be the frozen one. You will never be a chosen one. You just won't be. If you're thirsty, drink water. That's what you drink. We ain't drinking two liter Pepsis here. That's disgusting. We drink water. And you know what? <clears throat> There's a lot of frozen ones in the world today that just they just don't get it, man. They, they think they're doing the right things. By all these short-term pleasures. Which every single one of us, I don't care who you are, are guilty of a short-term pleasure. But it's like the majority of things that a lot of people do today is the short-term pleasures. You cannot make up your life of these short-term pleasures. It's all that dopamine. You have to do a dopamine detox from time to time. And you're going to realize the more you do that, the more you stay away <clears throat> from short-term pleasures, the better your life will be, the more grounded you will be, the more structured and focused you will be, the more doing the harder things become easier because if you set yourself up to where you're always feeling these good feelings, all the harder things that you must do in life to accomplish certain things are going to be like you're not going to want to do anything period everything is going to be a burden every hard task you have is going to be like over the edge hard you know what I mean but if you structure yourself if you discipline yourself 
if you stay away as much as possible from the short-term pleasures. And the reason why I say everybody is guilty of it because there's very simple things every single one of us do every single day that would be considered a short-term pleasure. And obviously, <clears throat> a lot of people are more extreme with it. But you have to recognize your own actions and see what you're doing that is creating these things because it is honestly poisoning you, whether you want to believe that or not. Discipline is the key. Doing the right things is the key. When doing all these short-term pleasures, it's just keeping you stuck. It's keeping you down. It's keeping you away from your blessings. Because that's what you live for. <clears throat> it's like you live for the short-term pleasures. When it cannot be that. You are conditioned to lose. You are conditioned to be frozen in glass. Stuck forever. In a position you do not want to be in. Like you would rather be in a better position. But it's like you can't. Because you're always doing bad things. You got to cut that BS. Become a chosen one. Get in your true path. Get in your true nature of who you actually are as a person. Take some steps back. Stop, like, recognize what you're doing. Like, can you even sit there and think logically? What I'm going to do next? What I'm going to do next? what I'm going to do next because you should think twice before you do just about anything unless you know for a fact it's the right thing and it's good for you and it's going to serve you and benefit you. Because let's say for instance <clears throat> there's a bottle of wine on the counter and you look at it and you're an arm's length away and you can just go and reach it and grab it and drink it. Think before you do that. And wine is not the worst of the worst of the things. If you're going to drink alcohol, I actually recommend a glass of wine or something like that here and there. Don't overindulge. The truth is, <clears throat> I'm not even going to be some psychopath and tell you guys to just be as hard as nails 24-7 all the time, 365 days a year, because it, ju it just does not work. You need balance, but you have to be on top of your shit and what I mean by that is you cannot let anything consume you nothing you cannot start doing something to the point where it becomes a everyday habit and it's like you can't live without it because now that product or whatever it is that you're consuming or whatever it is that you're doing you could be doing somebody else you could be clapping those cheeks who knows what you're doing but it's like it's an everyday thing and it becomes a problem you can't let anything become a problem because you are the master of your own life you can't overindulge in certain things I don't see a problem with <clears throat> consuming an alcohol beverage once as months go by, you, you, have some, you have a drink, more months go by. You have a drink, more months, half a year goes by, you have a drink. I don't see a problem with that because you are in control. You do it once and it's done. Easy. You don't overindulge. You do it and you're right back. You're still you. And the, the effect it has over you is such, such, such small to the point where it really does not even affect you at all. It can actually give you that short-term pleasure and you're right back to it but the thing is <clears throat> it's the overindulging part is what gets people the most today that's what's going to keep you frozen and you know what I changed my life when I changed my habits that's when you change your own life is when you change your habits most people are not even aware of what they do which is crazy. Like, you literally just do whatever with no repercussions. People don't understand, like, the thin line you're on to really become a high-value person, to become a chosen one. Like, there's a thin line that a lot of people are on, 
but majority of the world are not on. And that comes with discipline. That comes with good habits. Some people can be surprised at the person you become, but that's because you put in the work. That's all it takes. And it doesn't even make you special. It's gonna make you stand out. You're gonna be a person a lot of people wanna be around, but you're still not special because anybody can do it. Chosen ones are not special. The truth is you just choose you. Being chosen means you choose you. But there's a lot of people that say, yeah, I'm chosen, but do you really choose you? Or are you messing up? Because you're not chosen. And you can be the best thing in the world. You're still not special because anybody is capable of anything. Absolutely anything. Certain people's minds... <clears throat> I'm not going to say we're all the same. There's special things about certain people. But I believe everybody has a little special. So does that make anyone really special? Everybody's special in a sense. If you think about it. And there could be the most, some of the most special people on the planet that could have been. That threw it all away. So it's like. It's all about decisions at the end of the day guys. That's what it's all about. It's all about decisions your awareness, your habits, all these things play a huge factor <clears throat> in how things will play out for you. And like, you have to see your, your life and yourself for what it is. You have to see yourself now and you have to see yourself like ahead of time and what you want to accomplish and what you're willing to go through to accomplish what it is that you want. And if you choose to choose yourself, and you are your biggest priority over anything, you just have to be ready for everything that comes with that because it is no easy task putting yourself that first. It's not an easy thing, but it's worth it. And you're going to go on. You're going to experience certain things. You're going to do certain things. And you're going to have these talks with yourself as time goes on. Is it really worth it? Is it really worth it? Yes, it's worth it. Of course it's worth it. Every ounce of work you put in, it's going to come right back. You see, a lot of people think they're going to do a bunch of work. And they might not end up getting anything back in return. And that's where you're going wrong. Because you have to believe. You have to have faith. Because if you don't have those things and you're doing work, but your mind's telling you otherwise, like, you know what, this probably, it, it might not happen. This, that, that, and this. You can never think that way. You always have to think everything is happening for you. Because if you don't think that way, you're just not going to put in work. And if you're not putting in work, you're not going to get the results. So it's like you almost got to convince yourself that everything is already there. Because that is what's going to make you do the work every single day. And that's when you actually get the results. So you just manifest it yourself. So really, you convinced yourself that you had everything you ever wanted. When you had nothing. Which made you put in the work every single day and now you have everything you've ever wanted. I'm not joking guys, it can really work like that. You have to beat your own mind, that's what it is. It's you versus you. It's you versus your own mind. <coughs> and when, when, whenever you can conquer yourself, it's going to make a lot of people around you uncomfortable. Because you are going deeper and deeper and deeper into the jungle. You're going deep. Like you're going real deep, bro. Like balls deep. That's how deep you're going. And they just can't handle it. They can't. They get so far in. And it's like, whoa, dog. 
Whoa. But you, you're all the way in. And there's nothing stopping you. You are going all the way. And even if it don't feel right, you're going in. So there's certain things <clears throat> that you're going to experience on the way to where you're going. And you might not like it, but that is what it's going to come with. It's not pleasant. You're going to get a lot of surprises. Because it's tough. But if you want it that bad, you're going to get it. You'll get it. And I just think what stops most people is they really don't believe. And nobody else believes them, so it, they really don't believe. But the truth is, you're the only one that's actually going to believe in yourself. No one's actually going to, like, no, one's act, no one is entitled to believe in you either. Like, it just... Who even gives a damn? I never needed anybody's validation to achieve anything I've ever achieved. And you might want people to believe in you, but who cares if they don't? That's where I was at. Of course you want people to believe you, because if they don't, then you think that they think you're just crazy. And obviously you don't want that. You want people to take you seriously. You want people to look at you like you look at yourself. But it's just not always going to happen. And who cares? I lost a lot of friends just because of my choices. Because of what I wanted to do. Because of what I stood for. Because of what I wanted to work towards. There's some people that will be so unaccepting of what you want to do. Who you want to become. Where you want to go. But they will literally throw you under the bus and they just won't want anything to do with you. And the funny thing is when you actually just keep going and going and going year after year after year, you achieve great results. Now it's like some of these people want to pop back up. Now that they now that they think or know it's popular to support you, now they want to do that. Now you're making way more money than them, doing a lot better things than them. You're literally at a place where they will never ever ever get to for the rest of their lives you've already achieved that and it's like now they expect you to like have mercy on them take them back accept them now it's not how it works shows one's tolerance for bs is at zero zero and that's just how it goes Chosen ones are masters <clears throat> at life. And if you're not already a master at life and you're a chosen one, you will become a master because chosen ones don't give up. And if you don't give up, you will become a master of life. You will master so many things and you will continue to master certain things. People cannot get over on you. They just can't. Because you are proper. They're fleety. And you don't deal with fleety. You deal with other proper human beings. Other proper chosen ones. <clears throat> and that is a separator. You cannot take people like that seriously. It's another case of the tolerance being at zero. You don't tolerate that. You tolerate what's real. You tolerate what has value. And that is it. So that's pretty much all I got to say in this video. And I will be back with the next one. Keep clapping. Keep clapping those cheeks. Let's go. Clap, clap.